Hi guys, I'm Eileen. It's nearly Christmas and I'm so excited. Now I'm sure you'll see a lot of luxury haul videos and designer unboxing during this time of the year. I used to love watching them, especially when my favorite bloggers shared what they got on sale. And sometimes I even end up buying things that I didn't need. However, in the last few years, I've started shopping a lot more mindfully and I've even started to enjoy having a smaller luxury collection. So today, I want to share with you why less can be so much more when it comes to luxury shopping. I still enjoy beautiful things, but I just don't aspire to having a very extensive collection of anything now, including luxury handbags or expensive jewelry. I feel like social media does promote excessiveness when it comes to shopping. But I've really come to embrace the joy of having less. I find it really liberating and empowering. And now without further ado, let's see what are the eight amazing benefits of having a small luxury collection. First of all, you will save so much money. Now this might sound like a no brainer, but when you look deeper into it, the money you could save could actually work out to be so much more than you think. So basically, there's something called the Diderot effect, which means when you buy something nice, it doesn't just stop there. Instead, you tend to want to buy more nice things to go with it. So for example, you might buy a luxury handbag today and you'll find yourself looking for a bag insert to keep your things organized and a twilly to protect the handle. Before long, you might also come across a leather charm that will really complement the handbag. And because this bag is in a beautiful burgundy color, you start thinking to yourself, it only makes sense to get a pair of Christian Louboutin in this color. So basically, buying something nice gives you that temptation to keep buying more. And naturally, when your collection is quite extensive, the Diderot effect will be a lot greater. And it doesn't just stop there because that's also the maintenance cost to consider. I mean, when you have 20 cashmere scarves to send to the dry cleaner every six months, the bill can be hefty. And let's not forget about the insurance cost, which for me is really not optional when you have anything luxury. So when you add all these costs up, you'll realize buying a Chanel handbag doesn't just cost you the price of the bag, it's often a lot more. Next, when you make peace with having a small collection, you will also save so much time. First of all, dressing up will be a lot quicker. Interestingly, there's a study that shows that people tend to be less happy with their choice when they're given more options to choose from. So let's say you have 100 luxury handbags. It is very likely it will take you a lot longer to choose something to wear, but you might also be less happy with your choice compared to if you have only five bags to choose from. Secondly, you will also save a lot of time because you're not constantly looking for the next thing to buy. This means you'll save all the time you would have spent on ordering, browsing, researching, exchanging, returning, and even selling. Another reason why having a small luxury collection can be great for you is that quality will become your priority. Quite simply, when you decide to have less, you want your pieces to last longer. So you'll prefer to invest in a pair of shoes that will last you for 10 years rather than something that will need replacing every six months. Investing in quality also means you might actually save money in the long run and it's also a lot better for the environment. Ever since I embraced the joy of having less, I also find that I no longer have the desire to chase after the latest trends Instead, I prefer to invest my money in the few very timeless pieces that will never look out of place even in 20 or 30 years. Moving on, having a small luxury collection can also save you space. Depending on where you live, the cost of space can vary quite a lot, but ultimately, it's not free. It might sound a bit off-putting, but we are essentially paying rent for the things we own and the bill can be even higher if they require a walk-in closet or a spare room. 
I used to have a burning desire for a walk-in closet, like the one Carrie Bradshaw had, especially when I first started buying luxury items. I still really enjoy looking at beautiful walk-in closets on Instagram and YouTube videos, but I just don't aspire to having one anymore. I'm perfectly happy with my curated collection, which doesn't require a lot of space. I feel like even if you live in a very big house, you don't really have to fill the space with things. In fact, less things means less cleaning to do, and the cleaning itself will also be a lot easier to do. Having a more minimal luxury collection can also mean less stress for you. It took me a while to realize this, but having too much can really weigh you down emotionally. Have you ever wondered why when I go into a show house, it always feels so relaxing and welcoming? Well, I think the main reason is because there's no clutter. I mean, when I go into a show house, the closet is never overflowing. The cabinets are always organized and everything is nicely displayed. This is why in the last few years, I've been trying to downsize my collections because for me, clutters are simply the things I don't reach for, even if they are luxury or designers. And by rehoming them, it just feels like so much weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Another form of stress we can get from owning too much comes from our fear of losing them. I'm not sure if you can relate to this, but when I go away, I do worry slightly when the house is unattended. I mean, what if there's a break-in? Now, I am fully insured for my luxury things, but I also know claiming from insurance can be a very long-winded process, and you might also not get the full amount you are insured for. So I can only imagine my anxiety would be so much worse if my collection was more extensive. Another reason why having a small collection is quite enticing for me is that I feel like I have more flexibility in my life. Now, I don't have any plan to move abroad in the soon future, but deep inside me, I've always wanted to travel the world and stay at a different place for a few months at a time. And I feel like having less makes that mission a lot more possible because it will be so much easier to just pack up and go. I am from Malaysia, so sometimes I do talk to my husband about spending some time there. And I certainly don't want to leave behind too many expensive belongings while I'm away. Moving on, you will also stop comparing yourself and your collections to other people. Quite simply, when you actually enjoy having less, you no longer want to keep up with anyone because you will appreciate what you already have. I used to admire people with very extensive collections of luxury handbags and expensive jewelry. Part of me even felt like I would be happily ever after if I could finally build a very comprehensive luxury collection. So in short, I was consuming luxury content and at the same time, comparing myself to these amazing bloggers. And you know what they say, the easiest way to be unhappy is to compare yourself to someone else. So if you can actually find enjoyment in having less, you will put yourself in the driving seat of your own shopping. In fact, I still really enjoy luxury content and I appreciate the suggestions and recommendations by other bloggers. But it's just that I now do that with a much healthier mindset. I no longer envy people with 100 luxury handbags because that's not the kind of achievement I'm working towards. In fact, I see owning less as a personal choice rather than a form of self-deprivation. Another major benefit of having a minimalist luxury collection is that you will no longer rely on shopping for temporary dopamine rush or happiness. Now, there's no telling buying something nice can really brighten up your day, which is why a lot of people do emotional shopping. While the good news is if you really think less is more, shopping will be a lot less tempting for you. Over the last few years, I've sold many luxury pieces from my collections because I really wanted to curate my wardrobe. 
At the moment, I'm really happy with my collections because it feels like everything has a purpose. So I'm quite conscious about bringing anything into my space. As a result, I no longer crave for the temporary excitement that comes with shopping. In fact, part of me even worries about having to sell the item if I happen to make an unwise shopping decision. So right now, if I'm having a bad day, shopping is probably the last thing I want to do. Last but not least, I think it's fair to say that considering all the amazing benefits you can get from having a small luxury collection, you would just be a much happier person. I mean, with all the money you could save from not shopping, you will have options. You can either save up for emergencies, invest or travel. And with the spare time you get from not shopping, you can either spend it with a family, on self-care or other amazing experiences. Besides, when nothing is tying you down, you will have so much more flexibility in your life. I mean, if you get a job offer tomorrow that requires you to move across the country, it's a lot easier for you to make that decision because you can just pack up and go. I'm not sure about you, but this sounds like a pretty good deal to me. There you have it. Those are the benefits of having a small luxury collection. Now, I don't consider myself a minimalist, but I certainly appreciate the concept of this practice, which is mostly about removing the things that don't serve us to make room for those that do. And just to put things into perspectives, luxury items are completely discretionary anyway, so it only makes sense to buy them responsibly. If you've chosen the path of owning less, a bit of mindfulness and some sense of practicality can really go a long way. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to share, like and subscribe. I will see you in my next one. Have a nice day.